the Nikon 1 system was built from the ground up. So what we mean by that is we've spent four years looking at the market, looking at what competitors are doing, understanding what customers want. Um, and rather than just think, you know, let's try and make a MeToo product or using existing technologies, we've gone from kind of demand and we've built on that and created what we think is the camera that the customer wants. But this is the J1 with the 10 millimeter pancake lens. As you can see, very small, compact, um, and on the camera, there's very few buttons you'll notice. It's very simple to use. That's the key word, it's easy to use. So in the camera you've got, uh, on the top, you've got shutter release button and video record button. That's all you have on the top apart from the power on and off. I've got built-in flash, so you can pop the flash up manually. Um, and obviously it's built in, which is great, so you don't need to worry about a separate flash unit. And then on the back, this is where you know you have the, the main options. Um, and the thing I'll uh, draw your attention to is the mode dial. So here is where everything happens. This is your four shooting options. You have the first one, motion snapshot. The second one, smart photo selector. Just standard shooting, but high speed shooting and movie mode. You've also got um, scroll wheel for, for going through menus and some quick um, autofocus lock, you know, self-timer, exposure and flash, menu buttons. It's obviously got nice uh, LCD screen, three inch, 460K dot. Um, and then in terms of uh, card, it, it takes SD card. Um, and obviously your battery is located there. And then you have HDMI and mini USB connectivity as well. Obviously the, the Nikon 1 cameras are interchangeable lens cameras, so see this is the lens release button, so I can take the lens off, um, and obviously that's your sensor there, and then reattach the lens. So this is obviously a wide range of one Nikon lenses that you can choose from. This is the 10 millimeter. Um, there's also a 10 to 30 standard zoom, as well as a 30 to 110 millimeter um, super zoom. And there is actually a dedicated video lens, the 10 to 100 with power zoom, so you don't actually have to manually zoom and it gives you that really smooth movie recording. Is it the case that we often miss the best shot then? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's a great question. I mean, I've, myself, have had many a situation where I've wanted to capture, you know, kids on the swing, you know, trying to take that perfect picture where they're smiling at the camera, really happy, you know, composed well, and I can guarantee nine times out of ten it would be out of focus or at the wrong point. Um, the idea being, with pre and post capture technology, um, with Smart Photo Selector, one of the, the um, options on the mode dial, I can just take a picture like I would a normal still at any point within the, the swing, and the camera will take 20 shots at 30 frames per second. So under a second, it'll take 20 images of the scene, and in the camera, it will look at it and say, you know, that's out of focus, don't have that one, you know, that's um, they're smiling, they're not smiling in that one, they're blinking in that one, and then it will come up with the five best, and it will choose the one that it recommends is where it's composed brilliantly, it's got all these factors are perfect, and that's the one it'll recommend for you. So all you've had to do as a customer is take the shot like you would, but the camera, like because we said the technology in this camera, um, and the Nikon One enables you to actually um, get the best shot every time. And we've, we've tried to beat the camera and none of us can, so um, this camera is astounding.